listen, writing a book is a big project. I'm not going to lie. And you do need to plan to carve out time to do it. And, but there are ways of doing it efficiently that can help move it along. Um, one of the ways is to have consistent writing times that you set aside that you are working on nothing but your book. And, you know, if you, you know yourself, so you know if you work better in more frequent, um, shorter bursts, like, you know, five days a week for two hours, or do you do better, you know, twice a week for five hours each time? Um, you know, it just depends on how you work the best. But if you break it down, um, you know, a typical book for, for somebody who's wanting to grow a co coaching or consulting business, we're looking at around 40 to 60,000 words, which is about, you know, 160 to 200, um, 250 pages, right? So if you, if you break that down into, you know, week by week, and I do not have all the numbers memorized, but it, it's my understanding that if you were writing about 2,500 words a week, um, which is not that much, that's about, let's see, that'd be about like maybe five pages double spaced. You could have a book, you know, a perfectly decent length book done in six months. Um, and, you know, it should probably, it, you know, sure, look, you're an expert at what you do. You know what you're talking about. If you start from a really solid, saleable concept and a detailed, cl detailed, clear outline, then it's just a matter of looking at what's the next topic, choosing the main points you want to make, and just writing it out. Now, does it help to have help? Of course it does. Um, and you know, that's, if it didn't, I wouldn't have a business. Um, but it doesn't have to take a long time if you plan it well from the start. I think where most people waste time is they, they get an idea and they start writing. They don't have a clear saleable concept. They haven't made an outline. Or if they have, they just scribbled it out really fast without giving it much thought. And so then when they start writing, they end up running into all these walls and all these, you know, traps. So you can, it's kind of like trying to work your way through a maze versus just driving down the superhighway. <laughs> so if you've strategized ahead of time, you know, why am I writing the book? Who's going to read the book? Why are they going to read it? What, do I, what am I going to do with the book once it's out? If you're clear on those kinds of questions beforehand, and then you can figure out, you know, what are, what's, being, what's not being said in the marketplace in my industry that needs to be said that also connects to what my ideal client wants. If you know these things going in, it's very easy to decide what you're talking about. And then if you've got some good experience of what you're doing, you know the talking points under each of those topics. So you just bullet those out and then you just start writing. It's, it's really not about even how fast you get it done because if you understand that there's tremendous value in the process, um, you don't have to rush through this. You don't have to write your book in a weekend. You don't even have to write your book in 90 days. Because every day you work on it, you're becoming better at what you do if you're approaching it the right way. And, you know, it's perfectly reasonable to spend six months, 12 months. I mean, if you're going to write the book, write a really good one. Write a book that, that stands out. Write a book that is a contribution to your industry. And then... You don't have to write another one, really, ever, if you don't want to. <laughs> but I mean, that, if, you, if you approach it the right way, you can stand behind that book for at least the next five years. And it will still be fresh. It will still be current because you gave it that extra time. You gave it that extra effort. 
So can it fit into a busy schedule? You bet it can. I have clients who have, uh, you know, who own businesses, have families, kids, travel all the time, um, you know, you name it. Uh, thriving businesses uh, with, you know, tons of, of clients, the people that they're working with, staffs that they're managing, and they find the time to do it just a little at a time. Um, and of course, the other option is to have a ghostwriter that you can work well with. It, it often takes a little searching, but uh, I know some. <laughs>